So back again and uh, got some coilovers. Well, um, that's a shock absorber. Right. Yeah, this is a shock absorber. <laughs> you but, can't you know, have, yeah. It, it is a coilover kit. Yeah. Right. So, get rid of the old shitty never mat leaky shock absorbers and mile long springs, which are like a millimeter thick, <laughs> and replace them with eight kilo springs. There's the old buggers. Yeah. Comparison. Yeah, compared to new ones. I just cut the springs. Cut the springs. There you go. And these bad boys are 30 way adjustable and dampening and uh, height adjustment as well. So we can go super low, grind the uh, exhaust down on the ground and yeah, whatnot. Try not to do that too much. Yeah. It's already fucking. I, can't, I, I don't think we can go much lower than that really because nah. the. Uh, I barely could get the jack from the front to the back because. The exhaust, I had to like lift the exhaust up to get it through. But anyway, you know where anyway. these deserve to be? In the bin. In our makeshift bin. Ta da! Hi. Hello. <laughs> right, well, actually, I took a bit of a risk buying these. It was, um, they were £692 and 10 pence delivered and uh, I tried to find some sort of reviews <laughs> online and I found nothing about BC Racing coilovers for 940 Estate and it was a bit confusing with the, uh, if, it, if it was for an IRS suspension or a solid axle like mine but they seem like they're actually a direct fit and uh, I'll, I'll do some sort of review on the on the ride and whatnot and if I like them I'll, I'll recommend it to everybody else but that's pretty much like the only coilovers you can buy unless you go for someone who actually like make them out of scratch uh, I might as well show the uh, front suspension as well so what comes in the box is some stickers um, also there's some instructions for um, welding the uh, the front struts have to be welded onto the spindles all you do is you cut the uh, the shock absorber 50 mil of the bottom of the spindle and uh, leave the 50 mil there slot these coilovers on top of them and uh, line this bit up on the uh, on the spindle and uh, weld it up and that should be good and you got, I believe you got preload adjustment, you got height adjustment, you got camber adjustment, and then you got 30 way adjustable dampening as well. So they're all good. <sighs> Instead of these shitty uh, original suspension, which is like 18 years old, never been replaced. How's it going, James? Oh, you know, just. Uh... Are oh, they fit? <laughs> also, we got an adjustable panard rod, like I mentioned in the uh, <coughs> previous videos, um, which a bloke makes it on eBay and sells them for exchange of your old old unit just cuts them drills them put puts a thread on it or stud and then some lock nuts and uh, welds it, welds it professionally back together 
pump it up a little bit, Jonas. Yep. Go on a little bit. A little bit more. I do. And also, what we're going to do with the um, anti roll bar is instead of buying uh, <laughs> like an inch thick, um, inch thick anti roll bar, we're going to just um, put two original ones custom bracket so you're just gonna have two like one one lower than the other but they still work yeah. they'll work all right lower it down Ted. yeah a little bit more a little bit more Perfect. You know, James, it was the other way around than bolts, but it doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, it doesn't give. I don't give a shite. It is. I don't give a shite. It's all right. We'll leave this on the highest setting for now, I think. Yeah. See how low it sits. Ooh. I think it will give some sort of drop anyway, to be fair. Because the springs are not actually touching yet. No, I'm <laughs> just super fucking light. Oh, I might have to fucking cut the arches off just to put some plastic extended arches and just cut the. Uh, you don't need arches. No arches needed. Alright. Oh. Carefully uh, lift it up and uh, line the, guide the springs. Spring into the hole, or do you want yeah, to. Yeah, guide spring into the hole. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm in. Do you want me to lift it up just a little bit more? Yeah, lift it up a bit more. Right, I'm in the hole. Right, yeah. that'll do, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's all in now, anyway. Right, we have. And springing. Springs. Fuck me, that's a drop, I think. If we can go way lower. But. Yeah, I got <laughs> it maximum height at the moment. That's yeah. max height, and uh, that's a lot lower than previous so hopefully it will actually still be all right no, I think still got them stiff anyway yeah they are fucking stiff all right oh, yeah, that's it yeah. it's lifted <laughs> yeah that's... just uh, get a wheel yeah Right, do you want to put that on there? Yeah. Oh, I need the fucking one. <laughs> Let's uh, have a test for. Not too bad, actually. That's on. Uh, that's on high. That's pretty good, actually. That's not even the weight of the. Well, it is sort of on it, isn't it? Yeah. It might drop a little bit more. Right, go ahead. What I want to do is just drop it down on its own weight and see what it says. I've just put... Have you put the shock bolts all the way in? No, they're, well, they're all the way in, they're just not lined up. Okay. I'm just going to this one up that jack as well. Yeah, it goes up a bit more, that's it. That's, it. that's a good, uh... <laughs> just a hand in there sort of thing, that's actually fairly good. Catching on the axis, yeah. yeah. To be fair, that, that should be alright, shouldn't it? Should or, do you, better, yeah. or do you want it lower? No, I don't want to put it lower than that. Well, it, it, it wants to squat anyway. Exactly, you got to have some sort of room. Yeah. Might even have to roll them up with that a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. You just cut them out. <laughs> well, they. Yeah, they're not quite covered, are they? So they won't be MOT festival there, would they? No. No. They stay. They you do. Need stay. Need all the but then them tyres are not MOT. <laughs> no, anyway. no, that's true, actually. That's true, it doesn't really matter. You're not driving on the road on these fuckers, are you? No, no, I don't think so. No, what we do is we just either just use standard wheels or I'll get another set of alloys or something or just change the tyres over to uh, what we call it. 
when the time comes to get it road legal. Alright, well we're tightening all that up. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically the uh, rear suspension, everything fits, and um, obviously you just tighten it up oh, with I the spanners which comes in the kit. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a video also about the front. Legit. They're legit. They're legit. legit. They're legit. <laughs> These are the jit wheels apparently. They're E-dotted. <laughs> E-dotted. E-dotted? Yeah. yeah. Well, they are legit then. Yeah. Must be. <laughs> Must be. Yeah. Regardless of the guy who cut him in half and wired a plate in between them. Yes. It's a lot more wider than normal. It's regardless. Details. <laughs> details. Minor, minor details. Minor details. <laughs> God. And I'm that really they're, they're, on they're stretched on 10 J's. Yeah. I've never seen drag tires stretched. No. Who does that? <laughs> we <laughs> do. Usually it's the other way around, they're over. Yeah, I know. Over. See, well, there's a little down. stretch, yeah, not too they, bad. When, when you get the speed, they slim in. I should have used the 9J rims, but I fucked them up. Oh, yeah, you drilled them, mm. didn't you? I, I dremeled one of them, yeah. and it needs, needs to go to the machine shop to get fixed. You elend. Right. More stuff's happened since... Last, basically, we've uh, started or well, finished one coil over of uh, mostly it just weld the bottom on, it just slots nice and snug into the uh, the original sleeve. And you just weld it on, make sure that the uh, cutouts like facing the uh, wheel bearing or the spindle and it slots in nicely and snug and uh, I've just got to put it back together and then do the other side so today we're going to show you how to fit front coilovers on a 940 or 740 um, these are BC Racing coilovers from Corby Motorsport and um, I actually haven't seen any videos of how to fit them, so uh, I thought might as well show you. So first of all, you want to remove your old strut with the uh, spindle and the ball joint, and uh, you 50 mil. The, you want to cut 50 mil off the bottom and leave that there and um, preferably drill a hole first to empty the fluid out otherwise it's going to be really messy, messy which recording. I found out with the first one yeah <laughs> I was sprayed in grease, it's not nice yeah alright, cutting fresh disc so much as they can do I've still got fluid in it. Have I got any on me? Not too bad. Smoking. Alright. Got to go with the old hacksaw. Going old school on this again. Oh, fluid. That's right. There we go. And there we have it. Uh, there we have it. Right. So you got the actual shock absorber insert in there. So you just want to remove that. And you're just going to have these, this outer etch, which you want to just grind down from that's rust. That's the bottom end of the shaft. So that's actually how thick the shock absorber actually is. Yeah. And that's the 
and that's what quite a thick out wall. Yeah, inner wall, and you got the uh, I think the piston or some sort of shit there. And that's how you replace the shock absorbers anyway. From yeah. you just slot them out from the top. Well, yeah, that's good. Do that. So now I'm just going to clean it up for James to actually uh, weld it up. So uh, if I just give you that, and I'm going to change the blade. So I'm going to stop this for a minute. So so cleaned up. Um, that's the bottom half of the shock. Yeah. And they slot over each other just nicely like that. With the tap of a hammer. Oh, yeah, block the wood. With a wooden block. Right. Right. Now we just got to weld it up. It's got to weld up on this seam here. And then should all be good. And then we can fit the other after shock, shock straight on top. Obviously, I would recommend taking the uh, the wheel bearing off and the ball, bottom ball joint because, you know, they're just going to get destroyed. But they are severely old, so, you know, it doesn't matter too much in our case because it will get replaced later on when we have the time. I think that's fairly good. There we have it, people. In this all former glory. We just want to cool it down. Let it cool down naturally. Yeah. And then we can put it all back together. Yeah. The screws on the top of the coil over. We'll just all nice and thread it all the way. And we can bolt it back in the car. Hmm. Lovely. So, I'm that lazy that I can sit down and do this bit. Just thread it in. And get to the burn here. Put it on the seat. It's on the seat. Yeah. I think it's about there. Well, we've gone a bit too far. Get the nuts. Um, we got it the wrong way around. Hmm? This top plate's the wrong way around. <laughs> Done. Get our ball joints. Oh, they're rose joints. Oh, rose joints. Well, no, no. Oh, no. You want to put them? What's it in there first? What? Washers. What's the other washer? 
has. Is it on the floor like everything else in this garage? More than likely drop down somewhere. That should do. That'll do. Cool. Now it's held in place. Now it's just doing the other shit. So on top you got the camber adjustment. Camber adjustment, which we're set at naught. Yeah. Uh, and then you twist that knob. On twist that to middle. change it. That's fully hard at the moment. Want to go eight clicks back? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And that's preset. And that's preset. Um, so it's in the factory. Factory settings, sort of not. We've got a fair of. amount of adjustability on the dampening, which is quite cool. And uh, I'll probably. Uh, when, when I've tested it out, I'll let you know how, what sort of settings I'm going to be running because no doubt they'll get changed. <coughs> and that's how they sit in there. Don't worry, we're changing these flexi lines, they're, they're fucked anyway. Uh, there's a few bushes which are <coughs> poly bushing and so on, but I just don't have the time. No, nah, we've got to take dyno. Not tomorrow, the day after, uh, and uh, everything's got to be sort of ready for that. Which it near enough is. It's getting close. Yeah. yeah. So obviously now you would put the bra brake disc on and put the ball joint back in the uh, lower arm and put the carrier on, put the caliper on. Are we going to change the, uh, uh, the bleed nipples? rotted away so we can't bleed this side break so we'll have to extract the uh, bleed nipple and replace it try and source one somewhere so uh, and I've got new set of flexi hoses as well on both sides so we're going to do that at the same time but other than that it'll pretty much just go straight back in yeah. and that's it for now I'll uh, I'll just video it for you you know to put, put it back together but we got to do some couple of little things before that, so uh, I'll start recording when it's, you know, when that's done. Well, bottom ball joints on because it's a pain in the. Yeah, and you don't want to see us where. No, right. you really don't. <laughs>